Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do an empties video because my trash was literally overflowing. So I want to get these out of my house. Um, I'm going to start with makeup first and then I'll go into like the bath, body, all that stuff and skincare. I have a lot so I may split this up into two videos. Um, we'll see. So let's just get into it because I have a ton of products I've used up. First is the setting spray, the Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Oil Control Setting Spray. This is actually my new favorite. I love this. It keeps my makeup in place all day long and it doesn't have a weird funky scent or anything like that. So I really do like this. This is actually better to me than the Urban Decay, which is saying a lot. So I really like this. You get 3.38 ounces for like $8. So this is a really good deal. So I like this setting spray. Next, I used up the LMA Smart Shade Anti-Aging Foundation. I did not like this. This is way too makeup-y. This is one of those foundations that go on white, and then when you blend it in, it turns color. It's just not my thing. I've tried things that are better than this, so I just would pass on this. The next Shine Killer, this is a really good primer. Now, this isn't the best primer of all time, but for the drugstore, this is pretty good to keep your T-zone, you know, free from oil, but it's not, I don't think it's worth the price tag. I looked online and it said like $13, which is a bit steep for this, but if you can catch it on sale, it's not a bad primer. I just prefer like the Makeup, uh, makeup Forever. Keeps me a lot more matte than this does. I also used up the Formula X Top Coat. This is um, Sephora's line that they have. I did not care for this. This was very clumpy and goopy and like it would leave my nails like streaky. So I don't care for this. I really like the OPI's step number three top coat. That is super shiny. That's my all time favorite. I also use up the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. This is 1.52 ounces. This is actually a really good setting spray as well. Um, the scent doesn't bother me. It is kind of potent, but I actually like it. But this is a really good setting spray. I didn't use this up completely. This is a L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. This just is way too orange. I've tried 50 million different shades and all of them just don't look good on me. I like the consistency and the formula of this, but I just don't like the shade. They're like way too yellow based and make me look sickly. So I don't care for this at all, but if you can find the right shade, it is a good foundation. I also used up a few samples from the Benefit Professional. I actually don't like this at all. This actually made me have like blackheads and break out like crazy. So I don't like this. I don't know what it is with Benefit products. Just my skin hates them. So I will never buy the full size of this. I also used up the e.l.f. Makeup Remover Cleansing Cloths. These are okay. They actually kind of make my skin burn a little bit. So I prefer the Neutrogena ones over these. but. Uh, they're kind of cheap. Also used up the Lancome primer. This is nothing special. It was nice, but it's probably not worth the price tag, but it was okay. It's blotting sheets. These are actually really good blotting sheets, um, but I'm not too picky about my blotting sheets, so these are fine. The Fresh Advanced Sugar Therapy Lip Balm. I actually really like this. I have like three or four of these sitting around. This is my all-time favorite lip balm. If you have dry lips, you need this in your life. The Jane Waterproof Eyeliner. This is in rose gold. This was okay, but I'm trying to use up my eyeliners because I just don't wear eyeliner anymore. So this is a nice one, if, especially if you like rose gold tones like on your waterline. This does stay in place for a really long time. I just don't use eyeliners. The Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I love this. I keep going back to this. I've purchased this probably four or five times. I'm in the shade Fair. This is my go-to concealer. I don't mind the little end cap that's like a little spongy thing. I actually really like that, but it's so easy to blend out and gives good natural coverage, so I do really like this concealer. Concealer that I don't like is this Tarte Maracuja Creases Concealer. I absolutely hated this. This is so thick and cakey and just looks awful. Like, I don't know how anyone could 
buy this because this just was horrible for me. I hated it. Like, it's so, so cakey. And you only need a little bit, but it still looks bad. Like, you can tell that you have something on underneath your eyes, and I don't like that look. So, I just don't like this. The e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator. This is the mint one. I like this one. This isn't as um, kind of grainy as their original formula, but this is really nice. If you have, if you don't want as harsh as like the original, try one of these. These are more like finely milled or whatever. So this is kind of nice. The Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is the anti-aging one. This was all right. I mean, it did make, you know, my eyeshadows last all day long, but I don't see the hype about this. Like, my hard candy one was just as good as this. So, to me, it's not worth the price tag, but it was nice. It just didn't wow me. The Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This is in medium light neutral. This was too dark for me. I tried the Fair or whatever, and that was way too light. That was basically white. So I bought this one, and this is too dark. So, I mean, this was an okay concealer. It's just not my favorite. I prefer the Maybelline one, but it wasn't a bad concealer. The Miss Magna Voluminous Rock Mascara. I absolutely love this mascara. This is very voluminous. has these little spiky things off it. It's really cool. I actually love L'Oreal mas mascaras. They're my favorite from the drugstore. So I do really like this mascara. Another Sugar Advanced Therapy, that's how much I love these things. I also used up the Tarte um, Rainforest of the Sea, like they had a duo thing for like 10 bucks. This is in the nude one. I didn't care for this. This is the minty, kind of glossy type lipstick. It just wasn't my favorite. There's nothing special about it. I have other things that I like better. A couple perfumes. This is a Stella one, and this is Viva La Juicy. I didn't care for either of these, just way too potent. I kind of like more of vanilla-y, fruity, those type of scents. So I just was not thrilled with these. Oh, and the Secret Paris deodorant. This is Romantic Rose. I actually really like this one. This smells really good, and I like Secret deodorants. They're pretty good. And of course, I'm tossing the nail file because I go through these like water. And I believe that's everything from makeup. So I'm going to move on to skincare and bath and body and all of that. <laughs>